Hey folks, Daily Lands Blog for the 10th of January, 2019. Yes, I was just uh, rehearsing before. I mean, I'll rehearse the blog. I kind of just talk to get used to the sound of my voice, which really technically I shouldn't do because I hear the sound of my own voice all the time. Uh, but for some reason, well, I know the reason, uh, I, I'm going with 2018 and I think I probably will for about the next month. So let me just confirm it in my head. This is the Daily Lands blog for January the 10th, 2019. Huh? Huh? Uh, I want to respond to an email from uh, someone who is very dear to me. Her name is Jody, uh, and it wasn't an email actually, it was uh, a tweet. And what she said was, what does hope look like for you? I have completely run out. And she and I share a lot of thoughts, um, not on Twitter, but we text each other. And I'm kind of really struggling with just being at a loss for how to convey hope to her because hope has to come from the inside. Hope has to be generated by you. I can say all kinds of things. I can, I can quote statistics. I can say the bottom line message is that there is always another treatment out there. Almost no one that I've ever met has done everything. And so many people that I meet say, you know, it was the 10th or the 15th treatment. But she feels hopeless. So those words, the suggestion that there are options out there, um, really kind of do not resonate. And that makes me really sad and it really makes me realize my own limitations and the fact that, you know, like sometimes this is really simple. Sometimes, honestly, sometimes someone will reach out and say, you know, um, I'm really struggling. And I'll say something like, well, what have you done about it? And I'll say, well, I haven't done anything. Well, that's my cue to be able to jump in and to be able to push them to go and get help. And in general, when people go to get help, they get better. But then there's a situation like this, which I'm really struggling. So Jody, I'm, I'm talking to you now and you are actually one of the smartest people that I know. And um, you got to use that part of your brain, which remains healthy. Uh, this has not affected your intelligence in any way. And you got to look at it like you would look at it for me. I know you care about me. And if it was me saying I have run out of hope, you would look and search and find something for me that would give me hope. You got to do that for you. Uh, I'm trying. Uh, there's a million suggestions. And anybody that would like to jump in with a suggestion that's a little bit outside of the box to treat uh, what appears to be very treatment resistant depression, uh, we'd love to hear from you. But Jody, um, use that brain of yours to fight through this and to fight for hope. And once you find a little bit of hope, it's easy to build on. But that first little bit can be so tough. Sicknowweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. Uh, I'd like to think we're here because we can help everybody. But, I mean, the truth is not even close. That shirt's not working on camera. No? Is it ringing? A little bit. Oh, you know what? That reminds me of um, my TV days. Some of the ugliest jackets I ever wore rang on TV. Some of the ugliest sweaters. that, And make no mistake, I did wear some ugly sweaters. Do you agree with that case? Mm-hmm. Did you ever watch OTR? I did. Out of the 4,000 shows, how many would you say you saw? I don't know. I saw when Brando was on. One? No. One? I worked on it, remember? I do. My TV career. Very cool to have both your kids there, as I did. 